Hello, and you're watching one of Sinead and Yanita's videos. I'm Sinead. And I'm Yanita from Avalab Tree Care Products. This week it's all about hunting. So we have a great range of axes to show you this week. I will be chatting about the Silky Axes and Yanita will be... I'll be talking about a New Zealand brand called Tuatahi. I hope that's how you say it. <laughs> so really fast, it sounds like <laughs> So our axes range from your average little small um, camping axes to throwing axes that you need to will be um, talking all about. So, they sound just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's much bigger than my axes, so she'll start this week. Yeah, I win. <laughs> Big axe wins. <laughs> okay, so first up, I'm going to show you one of their working axes which is absolutely beautiful now this axe um, as the name suggests earlier is designed for general work so it's not a racing axe they make racing axes which are gorgeous actually looks very very similar to this just um, a thinner thinner axis has got a thicker careful I'm not sure what we call it now I've forgotten for axes but anyway the the racing axe is a bit thinner and designed not obviously to work as this one is but why are these so great? Well, they're handmade. Um, the company that make them, as I mentioned before, come from New Zealand and they um, have been making axes for th over 30 years now and make an absolutely beautiful axe. Now, axes obviously are dangerous, the nature of, of the tool. So it really doesn't matter whether you have a cheap and nasty axe or one of the world's best axes like this one here. They're all dangerous. They all potentially can chop your feet off. Um, yeah. In my case, it might actually be beneficial to have mine a bit shorter, they're a bit ginormous. But anyway, most people don't want to do that. So, <laughs> you must always be careful, use safety precautions, use some common sense when you use an axe. But really, it, it's open for debate, you'll see a lot of reviews on axes saying, a beautiful handcrafted axe like this is so super sharp that you shouldn't use it unless you're a professional. Well, you know, that's debatable because an axe like this will cut straight through the piece of wood you're wanting to cut, even if it's got knots and twists in it. These just split them like they're butter, which means that it's going to work more efficiently. And sometimes if you've got an axe that's not as sharp, that's going to get caught on those things, it can become more dangerous. So really, at the end of the day, you need to use a bit of common sense when it comes to using a tool like this. But this is fast, this is efficient, and it's beautiful to use. And you'll see review after review that these are a family heirloom. They are designed to last and last and last. So this is the sort of investment you make to make life enjoyable and um, fun really at the end of the day, doing work, but you can pass this on to a son, a nephew, a daughter, uh, whoever you please, because this should last you a lifetime. Other little features I just wanted to briefly mention is obviously the handle's quite long, longer than a lot of axes you might buy or see. Um, and also they have quite a large sort of shape at the bottom here, which is great because you want a really good hold when you're holding an axe and you're obviously throwing it over your head. So this gives a great grip. And the other thing is they don't shine these up and fancy them up. They leave them a little bit raw and you can kind of feel the sanding marks, which is good because it gives you that, that grip and that feeling that you can hold on really well to it. Um, so this is the Kingy Work Axe, which is just beautiful and you will love every minute of using it. And the other one I want to show you is the uh, throwing axes. So I'm going to put this one back in its safety little case here because it's very sharp. <laughs> and I want to show you some of the uh, throwing axes. Now we kind of have left the cover on these. So you might go, oh, it doesn't look so pretty on the actual axe head. So we're going to do a, a shot. We'll come onto the screen in a second showing you actually what the blade looks like. But we're, you know, I'm not being offensive. We're a bit clumsy. And we don't want to cut ourselves because <laughs> they're sharp. So these things here... They're pretty, uh, but they're not just made to look nice. They are actually functional. They do work really well. And um, I do know of an arborist that actually had one for himself, but ended up in an emergency job and had no chainsaw, but needed to cut a tree down. And he actually used his to cut the tree down. It wasn't quite as beautiful when he had finished the job, but it worked. So yeah, they are actually proper throwing axes, but we have actually modified them to make them more of an art piece. And something that's absolutely gorgeous and fantastic if you want a trophy piece. So if you're looking for that gift that's, you know, for that person that's outdoorsy or an arborist or just loves this sort of thing, you can't find something better than these. They're just unbelievable. So we had a leather artistrin, flat this one. So this is rather gorgeous, looks a bit Viking-ish in my opinion. And then the one the lovely Sinead has. 
this amazing uh, wood burning artist, she has done a few designs. So this is one of her snake designs. And they're all one off pieces. So you'll never find the exact same piece again because they're all done by hand and they're all used to slightly different designs. So we actually have um, a couple of the snake points, but you'll see, I'll grab another one and put it next to Sinead's. But it's you know quite a different pattern really. So this is another one of her snake ones. Just gorgeous. And I'm gonna come closer so hopefully you can see. Just the detail that, that she gets is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And in Australia, we actually have um, a place in Melbourne that is a throwing axe venue. So this is becoming quite a popular thing in Australia. It is. <laughs> so uh, Tuatahi do beautiful, amazing throwing axes. We're going to put a couple of other pictures up to show you some of their other designs that we have. And we also have an incredible oil painted handle coming up as well. So incredible on the mantle, the most amazing piece you will have in your house or shed or wherever you want to keep it. Exactly. <laughs> um, so when it comes to silky axes, silky have nothing like a throwing axe, <laughs> but they have the um, smaller version of the working axe as well. So it's all, all our silky axes come with a um, protective casing on it um, and a protective little sheath for it as well. So this will keep your blade um, nice and safe um, and away from your fingers. So when it comes to... <laughs> Sorry about that one, I forget the only okay If you want it's ripped, you know why, because she <laughs> um, So this is a great um, little axe for if you are going out camping. Um, and I learned something new the other day, spoon hunting. So I was a little bit confused about spoon hunting. <laughs> oh. Sorry, just coming up, up spoon hunting story. Sorry, I just wanted to show you the size difference. So, so it's just a tiny, tiny difference. <laughs> just a little, little baby one. <laughs> Can't even tell. Um, yeah, so I was Googled about this spoon hunting because I thought, oh, is this a, some kind of like animal that be, is hunting, has been hunted? or if it is trying to figure out what a spoon animal is yeah <laughs> didn't quite click oh. and i'm like wait are they hunting with spoons but you no know, typical blonde moment um but we they are they chop down nice beautiful wood for to carve um and make beautiful spoons looks like spoons exactly yeah. so a great um little axe to have around um in your backpack um as well as a silky saw as well would be fantastic hand-in-hand -hand, um, combo to use but then... so you have an option like lightweight the ones I was showing you are yes. beautiful and incredible to use but obviously if you're hiking or tramping through the bush hang on a lot heavier to carry so this is so lightweight but works it, yeah um, and this is the Ono axe as well so you'll be able to find that on our website and um, the great thing about all silky axes as well um, they don't have the timber handle that's so nicely beautiful display they have the special gum rubber as well that is the same of all the other silky saws um, so really comfortable to hold that gum rubber so that's why yeah. that's a, a cool thing and because it's compact obviously you're going to get more of that sort of vibration hitting sort of sensation through the hand and that's why that's great to absorb that, that gum rubber. Um, uses for this, other than spoon hunting, if that's not your thing, <laughs> um, arborists can use it if they're poisoning. So to cut a V into a stump to eject some poison, great for that. And um, you were doing restaurants a little while ago. Yes, restaurants as well. Um, chopping up firewood, basically. Kindling. Kindling. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my dad owns one of them and he loves it. We have a little fire pit in our little courtyard and yeah, in the winter time he's hacking away at his already pre-ordered cut wood but he loves it. <laughs> You've got to make it smaller. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then you have the machete version as well. So you've um, same gum rubber handle, um, nice sharp blade to it, um, great for slashing weight vines. Oh, sorry, your head. <laughs> Especially where it um, or... It's a dangerous week. Yeah. <laughs> it's all fun and games. <laughs> so this is the Yoki one as well. Um, you're just another great tool to have around with you. And then we have, you want to hold this one as well? Sure. I'll take all the dangerous things away. <laughs> the Nutter Hatchet as well. So this is... Again, lovely and lightweight, this, this Yoki. So out of the two, the Ono is actually the heavier tool, 
the um, machete is actually lighter than the, the Ono axe, so just in case you were wondering. <laughs> and thickness of the blade. It's <laughs> so pretty. Actually, that's really not showing you very well. I'm going to try like this. That? Hopefully, that's better. You should Step back now. Like legs. Yeah. Um, and then we have the nutters. <laughs> so they're available in a um, single edge and a double edge um, blade. Um, and available in a 18 centimeter blade and a 24 centimeter blade. So these are just a great little handy tool. Um, most people said it's like one part knife, one part axe. Great for just hacking away if you just want a solid piece um, of equipment that as that are this size. Um, firewood, um, hunting as well, slashing away at bones, slashing, um, carving. Um, yeah, we've much actually had customers right now. <laughs> send us videos of um, cutting out meat for the dog, yeah. or frames, you know, cut like I think it was chicken wings one day. Um, actually, another one we had was um, palm fronds as well. One of our customers was knocking up, well, knocking sections basically, getting a whole bunch of fronds and just knocking them to sections so they fit in their green waste bin. So quite versatile. You could use that for so many different things. Yeah, and I also had a um, customer up in Cairns order one of these as well because he cuts into the coconuts as well. Yes, so brilliant for that. Yeah, so yeah. he was... Um, oh, just... and we also learnt about... <laughs> what's the new thing we learnt about? Um, what do you call it? Uh, there's competitions yeah. and they... <gasps> um, not... Blade, blade sports. Blade sports. Blade sports, I think it is, <laughs> as well. So we also had a... So um, you're into that. Check out <laughs> we also had a sort of video of um, a... I'm um, again, sorry. Sorry about all the ums. I <laughs> can't help myself. We had a... We saw some videos on, <laughs> on the sport. We didn't even know it existed, so apologies. Um. But these would be perfect for it. So if you, yeah. if you do it, you know what we're talking about or attempting to talk about. Yeah. So great, great for that. <laughs> um, so these, this is another act. You'll be able to find them on our website, the Ono and the Yoki as well. So they will be all in the description below if you are interested in my axes over the years. <laughs> <laughs> so as everything is, there's a place for everything. And so... Um, you can basically have the tuatahi axes as you're working and throwing axes and then these will have their uses as well. So if you need a machete for slashing, this is brilliant. You need a really compact little axe for, to take with you on hikes or to just have in the ute for those compact small jobs or like Sinead said for fire pits and things like that. Brilliant. Or um, uh, what were we saying before, the wood fired ovens and things like that. Can't go past it. Uh, and then these guys, again, such a good sort of general purpose, a bit of a multi-tool really, because you can do so many different things with the nutter. A lot of people ask us about sharpening them, so we wanted to mention that as well. Yes. Yeah. So, um, easiest one to sharpen out of the two that Sinead has. Do you have the two different styles there? Yes. The, so you'll be able to tell the difference the, with the double edge. It is literally a double. Bevel on both sides. Um, and then the single is beveled on only one side as yeah. well. So your single is going to be easier to yeah. sharpen, obviously, because you've only got the one angle to deal with. Uh, but you just need a flat file to do so. So flat files, all you need. Um, we have them, but uh, you can get flat files really quite easily. Um, very different file to what you use on the silky saws, so don't get confused. You don't use the silky file that you put on the hand saws on these axes. You use a different flat file for those, or a stone. Yeah. And same with these guys here. So that's about the oh. descriptions and the info we thought we'd give you this week on the axes, same as the saws. Maintenance is really important to keep them rust free and to look after them. So clean them, our easy cleaner, brilliant. And um, lubricate them with any kind of lanolin spray. That's what we recommend. Lanolin is great. So many different brands in Australia. So I'm sure in the rest of the world there'll be different brands as well. But lanolin is great to keep them rust free. Happy days. i put these away behind you so I don't gesture with them. Slight, slight problem of mine, gesturing too much. <laughs>
just give us a call, shoot us an email or jump on our website and click on the dealers section and then you can find out where the nearest dealer to you is and you can go and see these amazing products for yourself. Um, and I also wanted to mention earlier on the video, I think you may have noticed I was doing this weird thing here. Uh, apologies, I was thinking about what I was saying and not what I was doing. There's like dust in the ear, so I was like trying to get it. So, oh, we're professional at this. But anyway, we've done like 50 takes, so we thought, oh, we'll just leave it in there. So sorry. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.